Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another Rome 2 Siege Battle for you today and today we do have a crazy sally out about to take place here. I pause the video because yeah, as you can see, Rome is about to get the surprise of its life here and it's going to really test the invincibility of the Legions as they have to face off against a lot of Numidian Light Infantry initially. We've got a whole bunch of Gorilla Swords over here as well for the Nervii facing off against the Shotels of Kush. And it looks like there's a lot of Cav as well that's about to also sally out this gate. We're here at Bird of Gala. It looks like the only one that's going to be defending uh, is going to be Bowie And they look like they might be facing off against Swaby uh, in this siege battle. So they're going to have an actual siege battle. Everyone else looks like they're going to be having a land battle here today. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. And also we've got some Cav as well, I've just noticed. Numidian Riders sneaking around the back here. See, so yeah, a lot of um, Sally Out is going to be taking place in this one. Uh, I hope you do enjoy it. It looks like it's going to be a pretty speedy one because, uh, well, a lot of either the defenders are going to die initially or the attackers are going to get wiped off the face of the earth one way or another. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what goes down. And here we go. We have started. And the Javis are going to start flying, I imagine, for both sides here. Rome continues to keep his troops on the towers. And there you go. Actually, no Javis, no throne. We're going to have archers uh, shooting. And there you go. The Javis going in. And the Hastati are going to start to take some casualties here from the Numidian Light Infantry. And yeah, I mean, to be honest, fighting Rome in the field, this is probably not a good idea. Um, they also have brought uh, Equites of their own, so they have prepared for a sally out here. Uh, so yeah, we've got Equites um, and Legatus. Legatus isn't so great when it comes to, uh, to fighting, but the Equites will do just fine. And yeah, Rome now has to face... An immense struggle here, and here comes the cab from inside the settlement. Oh, it's not just cab, it's chariots. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, this is not looking good for Rome at all. These char chariots can do a lot of damage. And we'll see what takes place. And it yeah, kind of missed the Romans on the first wave there. You can see the Numidian lights are routing already, uh, to be expected. And yeah, the ch chariots now are... Uh, oh, I was going to say, are getting focused on my archers, but it doesn't matter because the Numidian riders are going to deal with the archers here. Absolute chaos taking place in this battle here. I might have to do some slow-mos just to get everything that's going on. Um, so yeah, we'll go to slow-mo here. Over on this side, as you can see, it uh, looks like the Chotels um, are having a, a fun time as well facing off against Gorilla Warriors. We're actually going to just get rid of the foliage so we can see what's going on. And it looks like Slave Infantry here, they are being defeated by Gorilla uh, Warriors. Um, and Swaby is now coming to help against the Nervii. This is uh, kind of what I expected might happen. Bowie Eye not selling out. Just kind of screw over uh, his side as well because it isn't going to turn into a 3v2 outside the settlement a little bit. Um, but I guess if they can do enough damage, then it might allow Bowie Eye to get that easy win. We will see. Um, yeah, Shotel's defeating Gorilla Warriors here to be expected. Nervi Eye selling out with his noble uh, horse. We've got some Gallic Hunters and some, uh, some his general as well is going out there. The, uh, the Cav has now reacted for Rome and looks like he's going to get into uh, the uh, Numidian Cav, but not before those archers are pretty much dealt with. And really, they're also going to need this cavalry to deal with the uh, the chariots, but they, they've also been kind of stopped as well. And yeah, this seems like a very, very costly sally out. I don't know if much of the Romans have been routed, like, infantry-wise. Their archers certainly have been, um, but they are also sort of re-rallying. Well, actually, that's a slinger that's still alive. The new mini riders try to get out of there alive. Uh, the Evakai cohort is trying to chase them down as well, trying to get some kills here. And it looks like some of these Romans are taking some casualties. This legionary cohort is pretty banged up, fighting li uh, Libyan infantry here. Um, oh, light infantry, sorry. And it's also um, being focused on by Gallic hunters. And yeah, Rome and its invincibility is being tested here today. They are, like, very overpowered, I feel like, in Rome 2. But it is Rome 2. It's named after them. They're pretty strong. More chariots coming out. We've got another three units coming out. It's another 60 chariots to be thrown in to the mass of the Roman legionaries. Uh, most of the excitement for the Sally has kind of ended, you could say. Uh, cavalry has been pretty much used up. There's still some armoured Numidian riders uh, now outside. These are a bit stronger than the ones that we've already seen go into combat. And the Hastati here are struggling. Um, yeah, those are just basic Numidian riders. Over on this side here, it's Nervii. Seems like they're kind of being rolled up. I think, I feel like Kush is sort of dealing with the situation. Um, and the noble horse here trying to break through these shows of warriors. Things have damaged them, yeah, granted, but not enough. There, there is Gorilla Swords so somehow got in behind here. 
Oh, they're chasing Kushite archers as well. Swaby should be able to deal with those with his uh, general, to be honest. Should be an easy uh, enough kill. Rome is still, yeah, having a few issues, and the uh, chariots are still going in, and they're getting some kills. Let's put the hood up so you can see how many kills they've got. 246 kills and counting. They are killing a lot of those Romans, and now Bowie Eye sallies out, so he's uh, not giving up on this strategy. We're now going to see sword followers and also some Celtic warriors go out, and they're going to try and, I guess, clear up what remains of the Roman uh, front line there. They've still got plenty of Evocati that can go in of the Romans, but they are certainly banged up, uh, those uh, cohorts and those uh, Hastati. And it looks like, yeah, some of the light infantry is finally going to get some victories here. They're going to route the Hastati opponents. And here comes Bowie. Just when the Romans thought it was over, they're now going to deal some angry Celts. And there you go. More Javis have been thrown in. More soul followers during that fight. And they should route that Hastati there. The Cav, again, looks like he's going to be trying to go for uh, easy targets. The uh, archers are probably what they want to take out, but they're not going to get those. Equites are going to stop those first. And I would have thought the Equites are going to lose that fight. Yeah, medium going up against a uh, heavy uh, Cav. I'd get some uh, infantry in there. We'll get the archers to try and support, try and do anything to try and give yourself a bit of a chance in this fight here. You can see that the uh, sword followers are going to support their side. So they're helping Masaisley out here. And yeah, Nervii seems like he's slowly dying off here. I mean, his noble horse is uh, having to go into the fight. We've got Germanic scout riders here. Uh, an interesting gotcha. unit to bring in a siege anyway. Uh, but in this situation, work quite well. You know, having an extra mobile cav unit that can uh, go around and do some work. Try and pin down some uh, some generals. And yeah, Swaby is now sort of sitting back, letting uh, Kush kind of do the rest of the work. I mean, there isn't a lot left to kill off. It is just uh, archers. They need to really get There's a little bit of infantry still in here. But yeah, uh, Nervi has been dealt with pretty effectively. Uh, Bowie Eye, yeah, still is uh, causing issues, as is uh, Numidia here. They've got into the archers once again with the heavier cab this time. Yeah, these Syrian archers are really having a bad day. And yeah, now the Evocati. Oh, having to pin down. I think Rome might have uh, lost his general, or someone might have lost their general here. I'm getting like big uh, notifications down here. Something's happened. I think yeah, Rome's general suddenly routed. By the looks of it, he might be about to die. Uh, Swaby, yeah, look at a fine Kush. Yeah, again, look like they are fine with their general as well. He's pretty much attacked. Yeah, I think it must be Rome's. Yeah, Rome's general has died. Uh, the noble horse for the Novi is also a bit. So all three players. Came over here to challenge Rome and get rid of them. And they are probably the strongest oppositions. Kush probably after that. And yeah, I mean, they have had a rough, rough game here, have Rome. I mean, they're going to just get surrounded now by sword followers. Probably this general as well. He's got 133 kills. The uh, Calf and Numidia is now shifting over to this side here. Interesting. I thought they might want to finish off Rome. They are just going to, seems to go into the uh, show tells down here. I mean, they're pretty banged up, all, all these uh, sword infantry as well. 35, 60, yeah, 93 is the best of all the show tells. Swaby has probably more healthy sword masters. Uh, and they might start to, it looks like they might be about to try and go back onto their... I don't know, what is going, what is this unit here? Horse runners. A light cav unit. I've never seen this unit brought, a lot, sorry, a jabber unit. I've never seen this unit brought before, I don't think. Interesting. And then yeah, we've got the wolf warriors on there. I don't know what they're running down, but they're running down something. And they need to get back on their towers, maybe start an offensive. Um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see. Yeah, those horse runners. Yeah, bow unit. Uh, well, a uh, javi unit, I think. Interesting. And now, yeah, as you can say, Numidia is now just kind of lurking in the forest. Uh, and there's no real choice for Kush and Swaby. If they want to continue, they've got to probably just start setting their siege engines towards the walls. And while that's going on, Rome is still fighting for its life here in the forest against barbarians. Where have we heard that one before? The 
of uh, the Centurion down there probably crapping himself. He's like, oh god, if I get captured here, I'm going to get executed in a pretty grisly way. He sacrifices some gods. Yeah, you can see here the noble horse surrounding the Evocati. These veteran legionaries known for refining their skills with the Gladius being surrounded and slowly killed off. Nervii might be about to lose his general here, you know. So you can prolong melee here. So, yeah, there you go. Nervii's general just recently died. I mean, I don't think Nervii's got masses left. It's just really Bowie Eye on the defense inside here. Levy Freeman. Yes, yeah, still unit. It's really got him. Surprised he didn't sally out with those. And there you go. We've got um, Numidia also going in. I was going to say he's going to risk his general here. But he's trying to get Kush's general. And if he gets Kush's general, that's a great coup there. And there you go. In comes the other, the final Numidian rider that's going to go in and try and get Kush's general here. And that could be, uh, yeah, Kush now leaderless. And to be fair, he is wavering in quite a lot of uh, places there. There you go. He's uh, wavering. He might break it. Uh, that is Mercedes General gone. He might be about a mass route himself. Oh, he, he does get Kush's Generals first. And there you go. New Million Riders are going to uh, mass route now. It does not matter because, yeah, they got Kush's General. And he is dead. Yeah, he's not just routed. He's dead. So now Swaby is the last uh, army left with sort of an army and a general. So, yeah, not looking good at all for the attackers. What a sally out. I did say it was probably going to be a fast-paced one. And yeah, these first sort of 10 minutes or so have been pretty damn epic. There you go. I think Rome's sort of mass routing now. And Mercedes is not even out. He's still got a little light, light infantry there. Just, you know, be a pest. Are they going to waste some ammo as well? Our cushions are going to shoot it. Might want to save that ammo for other stuff. I mean, what they've got left inside here with Bowie Eye is just a lot of uh, Celtic Warriors. He hasn't gone for, uh, like, qu quality. He's gone for quantity, which is good because, obviously, the strategy uh, has been I'll stay inside the settlement and I'll defend. You guys do enough damage, and then what mass I have left will, uh, you know, save the day, win the day. Balance power is definitely with um, the defenders at the moment as well, probably because of this mass. I mean, still, uh, soul followers are good as well. I was going to say that they're, you know, good quality units. 39 melee attacks, not bad at all. Um, and for a heavy melee infantry unit, it's pretty cheap as well. Uh, this, like, yeah, the round shield swords are on 40, sword masters on 43. So they're not bad, like that badly behind that they uh, are going to be that ma massively outclassed. And I mean, Swaby seems to have lost a lot as well. I mean, I can't see his archers. Uh, but they're probably just hidden. But yeah, actually, yeah, I was gonna say, since we're looking from uh, the defender's perspective, I guess we can't see all that's left of Swaby. Swaby, though, I think is pretty much untouched. I don't think he really lost masses. His wooden has spears, seems to have uh, had a bit of a fight, but that's about it. Kush, yeah, still, like I said, got in the fight a bit. He's got a lot of kills. He's lost a lot as well, um, saving his, well, saving what remains of his army, including his gen. Oh, and they still got the Gallic Hunters of Nervi. Are they still alive as well? I don't know if they have ammo. They're going to go out this way here. Where are they planning to go? Are they planning to loop on around? And then start to side shot? I mean, I don't think they've got... They'd probably just be better up on this massive cliff up here, just side shooting into uh, anything down below. I think Swaby and Kush might know they're marching towards their doom. I don't know if they really care. I think they just want this game to be over. I certainly would. I'd be like, wow. I've been blown away. What a game. I can't wait to get the Warriors, move Here we go. Swordmasters about to drop. And we'll see how they do. They're going to get a, an absolute uh, face full of Javis in a moment. It honestly, it's going to be like, welcome to hell. This is, yeah. After already facing one hellish experience, they've got another one right uh, ready for them here. And there we go. Javis. Got some kills on the like one kill on the swordmaster. Not too bad then. I mean, if they're going to be casualties like that, that's all right. Wolf warriors as well dropping. I think these guys are sort of like berserkers, but not quite as good as berserkers. I see quite a few people bring them though. Sometimes. Here we go, swordmasters dropping. 
They're getting jammed. Yeah, they're really jammed up. And just send them in. Just go. What are you waiting for? Just need to send these guys in and get some... Uh, just try and get some kills. Try and preserve uh, your army a little bit. Wolf Warrior taking an absolute focus down here. Jeez. He's levy free. But they have, how many jammies do these guys have? Seems like they're throwing like multiple volleys. But, like more than two, it seemed. It seemed to be a constant stream. And here we go. A... Uh, Losses a son of them out after losing one initially on that first Javi volley. They then uh, have taken about another 30 casualties. And uh, yeah, it's not good. Don't know what they're planning, what they're waiting for. Whether they're waiting for the full unit to charge or whether, I don't know. But it's just, just go in. These Swordmasters here getting absolutely focused down. It's almost like a capitulation here from Swaby. Like he's like, ah, oh, just, just kill me. Instead, there we go. In he goes finally. He's taking his merry old time. Uh, Javi's in the side from the uh, Celtic Warriors there, and that's pretty much going to finish. That Swordmaster off is now losing combat. It's combat to combat even, but it won't be. An absolutely dangerous volley into the flank there, and then getting side flanked. I mean, the Swaby are going to counter flank with a, uh, looks like with a round shield sword. That might not do it, really. And then you go Wolf Warriors. They're uh, wavering already. They haven't even gone into melee. Ah, it would be nice to see them go in. Kush is also landing. It's great, but he's facing off against a faction that's not got a lot of armor. The Celtic Warriors are great counters to the Shotel Warriors. Why people bring Germanic factions or just Gallic factions, because uh, you can sort of counter Kush quite nicely. Yeah, that Wolf Warrior looks like it's been focused down to a man. It's pretty impressive. And yeah, the Levy Freeman, 38 kills, not bad for them, you know. Showtel's now landing. I mean, they're not going to get much done, I don't think. They're already pretty weak. The Celtic Warriors are losing decisively, actually. But so are the Swordmasters. That's the real thing. There's not. There's a lot more uh, Celtic warriors that can they can burn through than sword masters. Slave spears and round shield swords. They're struggling in this fight here. Go Kush sending in his most healthy Shotel Warrior now to try and break through by the looks of it. Yeah, Celtic Warriors, they are dying. They are like being like, killed off by these sword masters, but there's just so many more. And then they've still got sword followers to come in. These are going to be a bit uh, tough to kill off. And the archer fire from the, yeah, I was going to say, look, there's slingers up here. And then we've also got Celtic Bowman. They're firing into uh, the massive uh, attackers down here. I think they've routed yeah, slave uh, spears. Now we've just got to get the uh, the swordsmen here. But the, yeah, they seem to be killing off those uh, Levy Freeman and uh, the Celtic swords quite nicely. Crypto Warriors actually going to go into this fight. They're getting shot in the back. And yeah, I think it inevitably is going to be a defender victory here. And you've got to really applaud that sally out early on I mean it's a really risky thing to do if uh, I think Rome definitely could have maybe counted a little bit better he certainly could have should have protected his archers a little better and uh, I don't want to lose your general sally outs are always going to end up going for targets like yeah your archers your general You're just got to kind of keep them protected keep them amongst your like I mean he's got a lot of heavy infantry did Rome he should have just probably protected them Made sure that they, uh, like at least one was sort of protect protecting his general. I mean, he did well to bring Cav, it just wasn't enough uh, in the end. The Cav is just outclassed as most Roman Cav is. And yeah, here we go. I think now, yeah, Novi is actually, yeah, getting in behind. He's got his archers here, which I mean, they're just going to go up onto the onto the walls. It looks maybe they haven't got ammo left. And the general here, as you can see, for uh, the noble horse, he's, I mean, there's no general, but he's just, the uh, unit's going in, it's going to engage the swordmasters here, and I think this force it off the, uh, off the tower. 
Little part of his great plan. We got 235 kills in this general unit. It's pretty damn good. And here you go. Yeah, Bowie Eye is just slowly wearing down Swaby and Kush. And this is a really good angle here. The uh, round two swords. I mean, they're losing anyway in this fight here against uh, the sword followers. But if they uh, were to be to be winning these uh, Swaby units, they just get focused down here by Celtic Bowman. He absolutely obliterated. The Kush is turning around. The units actually try and save uh, the Longbow Hunters. Now that they're in melee with ca uh, Gallic Hunters here, and yet more Gallic Hunters landing on the wall here. They're going to start routing these Longbow Hunters. I mean, they haven't lost their general, I don't think, as Swaby. So for them to route that early is quite quite surprising. I mean, well, I don't know. 72 is not that uh, crazy. The other Longbow Hunters, for some reason, lost his market, but is still alive. Doing well. Horse runs as well. I, I kind of want to see these guys in action. I guess they've just been throwing their jabbies. Now they're going to go into melee, yeah. And there you go. Uh, they're going to re, uh, re land that general. I think Nova Horse General is still alive. He's just run away over here doing his, uh, doing his thing, being a pest. As you can see, yeah, Swaby slowly just getting broken down, killed off. And there you go. That is the power of a Sally, really is. And I was going to say, this general might get some kills. He's a pretty healthy unit, 148. But I was going to say, his army might master out before he even really gets some serious kills. He's going to bounce out that Levy Freeman unit and he's going to go into this fight here with the sword followers. And I think that Gallic Hunter is getting into the back lines and stuff here is helping to route stuff. And the Swordbass has actually just pulled through the Gallic Hunters. And that, if anything, is actually causing him now to waver. He's actually pulled through. And that's why you don't do it. And he's also the last unit going. He's probably just going to master out in a moment from army losses. He's popped a bunch of battle rhythms and shield wall trying to stabilize himself. He's going to get rear charged here. Again, he looks like he might be trying to pull through. And there you go. He's gone. And there you go. A costly victory for the uh, the Nervii and uh, their team. And this was sent in by Rabbit, who was playing as Nervii. So thank you very much, man, for sending this one in. Very quick, very speedy one. Um, but yes, yeah, certainly a very, very different sort of Rome 2 siege battle. So what we're usually seeing, because it wasn't really a siege battle, more of a land battle. Um, but yeah, 236 kills with the Noble Horse here, 118 with another one uh, of his Noble Horses. Uh, his Gallic Hunters, 192 kills, 180 kills, 145, 131, some really good kills for them. The Gorilla Spam, uh, most, actually some did okay, to be fair, 239, 202, 157, 157 again, 112. The others got below triple figures, uh, but did pretty well. Then we have Interceptor playing as Bowie Eye. Uh, the guy that's, you know, basically the backstop, you know, just defending the city um, while the other guys had the excitement outside the city, although he did sell out a few troops. This Celtic Bowman, 239 kills is incredible uh, and very healthy. Uh, so they probably could have got kills with melee as well. Uh, Celtic Warriors, 192 kills, 169, uh, 161. Yeah, some really good kills there. Sword followers, 161 kills, 165, 179, 207 kills. These guys are just, yeah, they're usually really good. I mean, these guys have loads of uh, health left as well, like loads of men left. They could got 200 plus kills. Then we have Saladin playing as uh, Numidia or Masaisley, getting 204 kills with his uh, general before he fell his uh, chariots. Most of them did do that great. This one did especially well, and we saw this one. 267 kills, 179 kills, not too bad for some of them. Uh, New Midian Riders, uh, the armored ones, getting 190 kills. Then his uh, normal New Midian Riders, getting 161 kills. And then his uh, light infantry, 110 is the best of any of those guys. Then we have um, G01 Bale playing as as a Rome. Uh, he got 92 kills with his Belek Slingers, but yeah, most of the rest of his range did not do a lot. His uh, Evercardi cohort still got reasonable kills, even though they got uh, surrounded and killed off. 184 kills, 161, 159. They started getting 138 kills. And then his Legionary cohort, 165 kills, 132. Uh, and then we have Wolf Tone playing as the Swaby. Uh, 87 kills with his general before he uh, surrendered. Uh, his round shield swords, 140 kills, 172, 265 kills. 
Um, so some decent kills there with those. Uh, his sword masters, yeah, really disappointing. Only 87 kills, 79. Uh, and then his wolf warriors as well, also pretty poor. His wooden as spears, 121 kills, 133 kills. Then we have daddy playing as Kush. Uh, he got 117 kills with his uh, Kushite archers here, 147 with the royal Kushite archers. Shoto warriors getting um, 126 kills, 127, 190. Uh, but yeah, nothing too incredible uh, for him either. Some of his Shotels did pretty well, but nothing insane. And no armoured ones either, which is kind of surprising. But there you go, guys. That is today's Rome 2 Siege Battle. If you did enjoy and want to see more, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.